Namaste! Grand Rising Big Cat, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your message or massages. Where's Chiron today? Bring in full feelings of insecurity, darling dears. Mm -hmm. You may also feel ignored by others. Don't worry about what other people are doing and feeling, blood, bra, or sistrine. Focus on yourself, yeah? Mm -hmm. And how you feel about certain situations and circumstances, darling dears. Focus on your own feelings. Do your shadow work. Use the energy of the sun, highlighting Chiron to what? Get over those past wounds, those cuts to the white meat, darling dears. Give yourself an emotional lift by implementing some self-care in your routine today, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Don't take your mood out on anybody, darling dears. Why? You may be invited to a battle that you don't want to attend. Tussling, tongue wrestling. From a distance, we won't know whom the chicken of the sea is. We don't fight, darling dear. Not with the feeble-minded, remember, big cat. People that want to fight with you, darling dear, always have got less than, less than you. They ain't got nothing to lose, blood. Remember that, big cat. Take care of yourself and put your needs first. Today and every day, darling dears, you've got to take care of yourself first. After loving the Most High Father, God, Mother Isis, then you put yourself there and then comes your progeny if you have them. And after that, once you've got it right in your cranium, what's going on? The body and the back, darling dear. Without your health, you have nothing. Your health, your physical and your mental health is your wealth, darling dears. And the bag? The bag gives you choice. So you can say two of these and one of those. And my lawyer or my solicitor will be in contact with you. <laughs> this bump. Let's dive in, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Because the, today the read is going to be about you. Why? When Father God Most High Mother Isis tells you to move, right? Tells you what to do. You cannot. I repeat, cannot. In the words of Jocelyn Hernandez, you cannot hesitate. You've got to say, feet don't fail me now. And you move, darling dears. You may not understand the movement at that time, but everything will become clear. Let's dive in, darling dears. Let's dive in. Let's get your runestone for the day. Oh, fell right in my lap. And it, I managed to catch it between my supple thighs. <laughs> I'm not lying. I did. It was what? Where are you going? Listen, no scrabbling in the dust for me. You have Othello. You've got the whole world in your hands. Yes, baby. Othello is represented by what? The world card in tarot. It speaks about you about to inherit something, darling. It could speak about family wealth. It could also speak about um something to do with a group, darling, dear. The ending of a situation involving a group. Mm-hmm. Othello is represented by the letters F and O. Have you finished getting the swear words out? All right. Mm -hmm. The numbers 84, 85, 86 and 87. World card speaks about an ending of a circumstance or situation. You're done. It's a done dollar. But it also speaks about the fresh start that you are being gifted by the Most High. One, Some of, some of you, or more, all of you, your fresh start is going to involve travel, darling dears. Not just traveling in your mind, moving, darling dear. The world card is Earth and Saturn energy, as well as the fixed signs of Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius, darling dears. It was a circumstance that you were slow to tackle. It took you a while to what? Get out of, get up from under what you've been going through, darling dears. You sunk, you thought it'd be hard to change, but when you're in the same environment that's trying to what? Bring you down. Oh no, 
You've got to keep it moving. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because they're family doesn't mean they have to be in your life for air. Just because you're married to them or in a relationship with them, if they're abusing you in any way, darling dears, and divine says, hey, time to what? One, two, buckle your shoe. Three, four, hit that door. You do it, darling dears. You don't hesitate. Divine will catch you. Remember the poem, The Footsteps. You will be carried, darling dears, but you have to be bold. Be bold, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about what Sputnik, the hillbilly investigator. You are being watched, darling dears. Watched as you're making wise choices. Somebody sees you as somebody who is um, valuable. You have values. Because you left a circumstance and a situation, they're watching you, darling dears, from the fringes. Yeah. Trying to knock at your door, darling dears. But God, if Father God, Mother Isis told you to what? What to do, darling dears? You didn't hesitate. You didn't. And a new beginning, a fresh start is being afforded to you, darling dears. It will be a desired outcome. One where you'll be able to accomplish things, but it's also going to give, give you the gift of what? Transformation. Mm. You are showing many people that you hold the whip, darling dears. Yeah, love it. You're showing them that you are Carlisi or Carl. You are being spiritually guided to remove yourself from circumstances and situations. If you've done it, we're about to, I've got to put the fan on. It's so hot and muggy here in the UK, darling dears. Sweating. Yeah. Gone past the perspiration, darling dears. Mm-hmm. Othello, the letters F and O. Let's get a domino to back it up. Thank you. You've got the six blank. The energy of the four. Air and Uranus energy. So something's going to change. And the six is what? Gemini lovers energy, darling dears. So it's within a partnership. Mm -hmm. It could be platonic, it could be romantical, but it's about you, what? Trust in the process, darling dears. A circumstance that is going to require a major choice in order for you to, what? Understand the deep love you had for someone or someone's was not deserving, darling dears. They didn't deserve it. Mm -hmm. Gemini, again, speaks about a short trip. The world card speaks about a trip. So somebody's definitely going on a trip, darling dears. Mm-hmm. The energy of the six blank, darling dear, speaks about scandal, is afoot. You're going to be hearing about it or somebody's going to draw you into it, darling dears. We already saw the energies of the sun squaring, squaring Chiron. There's somebody that wants to bring trouble to your door, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Or embroil you in it. But listen, you can't get involved unless you consent, darling dears. Remember, Easter Island and Stevie Wonder. Mm -hmm. Love it. I don't hate it. Let's get your ancestral message. See what else is afoot. I'm going to use a combination of messages. No, no, I'm going to use one deck. Let's use the... Should we use this one? No, it's keep... Every time I pick... Look, just decide. Decide. Oh, child. Mm -mm. Which one? The witch's oracle wisdom. Okay. Okay. Now I've got a random here getting on my getting on my last nerve, mate. Can you fight here? What's going on with my knocking? Mm. You have the badass alchemist ways, darling dears. This also speaks about the magician in tarot, darling dears. You've been gifted with high intellect, but it's also again about journeys, possibly um, um, a spiritual journey, a mental journey. It may even be a physical journey, darling dears, but you are being extremely resourceful at this moment in time, and it shows that you are in manifestation mode. Continue to be logical, darling dears. Somebody's going to be writing a speech. Mm -hmm. Remember, or should I say, your speech is going to be so powerful, darling dears. It's going to affect many. And that speech that you give is about to rock your world, darling dears. Things ain't going to be the same again. It also speaks about the rebirth of you. From the ashes, baby. 
Push, clap, fist, bump, love it. A new beginning for you. While they watch you, darling dears, as if frozen in ice. They, them, and arm. You're wondering who? They, them, and arm, darling dears. I told you who it was. They, them, and arm. Somebody's watching you begin again. But you as though you're on fire, darling dears. Not literally, but I'm talking about this new, this, because fire energy is about your, your sexuality, it's your creativity, they're looking at your inner strength, the power that you hold, darling dears, and the enthusiasm that you, you've faced a new beginning. After what? Moving. When God told you to move. You said just like that. Come through ludicrous. Posh. Clap. Mm -hmm. You know how to get your tinky winky on. <laughs> Why do I say tinky winky? Haven't you seen the Teletubbies? Tinky Winky is the one that's always running away with the bag. Mm -hmm. A new beginning. The badass alchemist ways. I love it. I don't hate it. Base of your deck, darling dear. The dedication you showed. It also speaks about somebody was dedicated, darling dears. This speaks about spell work, negative energies, something that was written. Your name was... Someone wrote your name down. Why did they write your name down? Hold on, hold on, let me just get a stand for this. Well, whatever they did is return to sender, darling dears, in the name of the Most High. Mm -hmm. Their energy is about to be banished from you for air, darling dears. They feel left out on the edges. Yeah, a fringe hugger. Yes, 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 yes. But somebody wrote something down in your name. Trying to take you off your dedication, this new, this new arm. Um, lease on life that you have darling dears this new creative creative aspect of your being that they didn't see when they was around you why they was too busy picking on you darling dears they weren't pointers they were pickers well guess where the pickers are missing nobody called the police we don't need the police no we knew nothing mm -mm. we just left their ass where it's meant to be and it's a cleansing. This person came with spiritual attach, darling, attachments, darling dears. It also speaks about someone needs to what? Cut a soul tie. Best time to do it would be Venus Friday, darling dears, as you jettison into your spiritual bath. Mm -hmm. Eps, Epsom salts in the bath, darling dears. Um, two, can, two, you know the tea light white candles? Because you have to create a, a gateway as you're getting into the bath, right? Make sure that you wash yourself before you get into this particular spiritual But You don't go in there with a dirty coochie and, and those armpits that should only be smelt by yourself as you're going into the shower, right? Mm -mm. You go into this bath clean and you read things like Psalms 91, Psalms 51, Psalms 121. Yes, 121. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 31, 10. Understanding that you are a virtuous woman or man, darling, dear. Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio may narrow down the field of whom, whom this hater is. That's dedicated, right? This person is upset. They're feeling as though the, the bad luck, the bad vibes and everything that's going wrong in their life is your fault. Why? Because you left. You left and took your good God with you. Mm -hmm. Let me cut this fan off. Someone who was treating you like a nurse with a purse. Mm-hmm. Somebody who thought you'd put up with their shiznai and shenanigans for air. Oh well. Who's that? Oh, it's you. You get ready to go? Yeah, I just redid my hair. Okay then, dear. I'll see you when you come back. Yeah. Hasta la vista. Anyway, let's dive in, darling dears. Let's get a deck. I'm going to keep all the cards in the upright unless the universe said spin them, case. And they will be spun by themselves. Base of the deck, the full energy, taking a leap of faith in a new direction, darling dears. This is you. I feel as though you're being gifted with the tree of life in the upright because you listened. Or you're about to listen to the most high. Saying what? Move. You're not a tree, darling dears. You can move. But I've seen I've seen some some woke TikToks, right? Where the trees were walking, black. The trees are walking now. Listen. Mm -hmm. Let's keep this full card out here. Because you're not a fool, darling dear. You're loyalty. This is about you packing light and keeping it popping. Mm -hmm. 
I'm seeing all signs of the zodiac out here, darling dears. A new beginning for you. But it's about you realizing that your loyalty is not to be bought or bartered, darling dears. Don't be a fool in anyone else's story, darling dears, when you was built to be the main character. The fool is about you taking a leap of faith in a new direction, darling dears, stepping without seeing the stair. Mm -hmm. Time for you to what? Tap into your adventurous side. For others, it speaks about a new relationship coming towards you. A new lover, a new friendship. It could be platonic, but there will be an age difference. It's going to be spontaneous, darling dears. You're not looking for this friendship or this friend, this lover, whatever the situation is. It's going to appear. Why? It's because you moved when the Most High told you to move. You said just like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask a number of questions of the cards to see what the cards have to say. Past energy around the big cap. Fast energy around the big cap. Thank you. Yeah, justice. Ending of a situation, darling dear. It could have been an ending of a marriage, leaving of a job, darling dear. But it had to be blind justice. You had to lead the situation in faith. Well, yeah, there's a sword on this, but usually the sword on the justice card is in the upright. This one is down. So it speaks about a situation where there was a lot of lies, there was a lot of uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Air energy in the reverse is a lot of mental confusion, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Let's get these cards out. Justice is the seventh house, the house of partnerships. So you left friendships behind, family members, whatever the circumstance it was. Because your particular breed, darling dears, the kind of big cat that you are, you are rare. Right? Mm -hmm. Clarify the justice card. Clarify the justice card, please. Clarify the justice card. Thank you. Yeah, four of cups. Situation that you left, darling dear, could create a lot of mental turmoil within you, darling dear, because it was a situation that you possibly thought would be there for air. World card, well, guess what? <laughs> hey, hey, divine said, move, leave it. Right? Leave it. Just like if it was a house fire. Just like that. What's her name? Sweet Brown said. I didn't start for nothing. Not my shoes. Ain't nobody got time for that. Because why? The smoke The smoke will get you. <coughs> yeah. No one's got time for that, darling dears. It also speaks about somebody or some bodies regretting the ending of this cycle with you. This is someone that wasn't being fair to you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles, you was always giving on to others. Your time, your energies, your money, your advice. Pentacles is tangible stuff. You may have even given somebody a, um, a home to live in, darling dears. And they weren't grateful. They wasn't. Four of Cups in the upright. Lean in, big cat. Lean in. This is represented by Cancer as well as our um, moon energy, darling dears. The moon is mother energy, so it's a female energy. It, or it could be a male, because it could be a Mitch, Mitch, or a bitch, Mitch. Don't hold me to it, darling dears. Mm -hmm. This is someone or someone that you no longer have contact with, darling dear. They're feeling extremely depressed. They're feeling as though it's a missed opportunity with you. This is somebody that's trying to leave a situation where they've actually gave too much in a situation to get back towards you. Good God. Where's my tiny cards? Do you want them back? Do you want this person or people back in your situation? Hell to the no. It's not working for you, blood. Mm -mm. Right. Okay. What's the current energy around the big cat? As they realize that they can begin again at any time. You can. Energy around you, darling dears. You've got the Nine of Swords and you've got the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. You went for a lot of, a lot of, it may even be a time where you was feeling extremely depressed and down. Some of you may even sought um, some form of counselling, some kind of advisor, darling dears. The Queen of Pentacles is somebody that gives advice. It could represent somebody in the medical field. But it also speaks about, it took a while for you to realise that you was the keeper of the bag, darling dears. Yes, you was. You was the one that came with the loyalty, the good advice, darling dears. But people made it seem like your energy and your words was nothing. This is what caused a lot of self-doubt, a lot of confusion in your mind, a lot of depression. 
because you was judging yourself on how other people was dealing with you, handling you. But the present energy now is what? You're getting out of that bed of misery, that DNS had to look over my shoulder. Why? Because I'm the red light, green light champion of 79, bestie. I keep telling you that. Mm -hmm. You had to. Queen of Pentacles, this is a new beginning, a new home, car, career. It could also speak about you moving slowly with your progeny, but we've also got the hair. Some, somebody wants to run up on your situation, darling dear, but this person is the same person or people that talked about you like and called you everything except a child of God. It was a painful breakup for you, darling dear, one that brought you to your knees, but... When God says you move, you say just like that. Mm -hmm. Let me get some more on the present energy. Queen of Pentacles. In the upright, I might add. This could also represent um, your self-worth. You understand your self-worth now, right? You're making sound financial choices, right? You're keeping your, your, um, your fidelity. Why fidelity? Why did that word come into my head? Some of you are celibate, but you are you are saving yourself. Not necessarily for someone else, but you are saving yourself, darling dears, because you don't want any soul ties. You don't want nothing to take you off your gangster at this present moment. Mm -hmm. And your mind is firmly made up, darling dears. Six of swords, good golly and gosh, on its face. You're realizing the circumstances and situations in the past was going nowhere. Intellectually, they was never on your level, darling dears. This is why they tried to bring you down. Make your ideas and, and your actions seem like they were small fry. When a lot of things that you was achieving because you've got the badass alchemist ways, darling dears, you have the gift of regeneration beginning again, right? Many people don't have that, darling dear. Mm -hmm. What else? Tell us. What does the big cat need to pay attention to? The wicked, darling dear, the wicked. The wicked that are looking at, they're counting your pentacles from the nosebleed section. Mm -hmm. You heard the, the, um, the buzzing confirmation, darling dear. Somebody's trying to pocket watch you from a distance, darling dear. Someone or someone that would love to come back into your situation. This person bought a lot of... No, or you, you experience a lot of um, ruminating thoughts. This is also somebody that never spoke straight to you, darling dears. They didn't. They was the keeper of the forked tongue. Mm -hmm. Someone that, that goes forth and licks the crevice of the devil's balls before they address you. This person created a lot of third-party situations. The three of pentacles could represent third-party situations. It doesn't necessarily mean a mistress. This is someone that took your business on the road, darling dears. This is someone that was bringing you down from the inside the palace, darling dear. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck. Well, guess what? Pay attention to the fact that you are successful at this moment in time. These are people that have nothing to lose. This is why they would love to speak to you. There's no contact. We already discussed this, darling dears. Somebody wants to speak to you quickly, Cancer Energy. They want to rush right in because... Of the ending of the situation and the transformation you've made in yourself, darling dear. King of Pentacles. Yes. And they don't want anyone else to recognize your worth. That's their business. They've got a lot of work to do then, isn't it? Blinding nine billion people in order to get the one that's coming through for you. Through for you. Wow. Mm -hmm. They've got ideas of grandiose, darling dears. Mm -hmm. How do other people feel about you? This new beginning, this is success, a new home, car, career, but it's about moving forward confidently, listening to your higher mind, darling dears. Yep. Setting your intention, finding true balance in your life, chariot energy, cancer energy again, mother energy, darling dears. Maybe you are the mother of their child. The pen three of pentacles could also represent a marriage, but you was married to what? The devil's most diligent worker. Whether it was a... Um, a um, a, a ceremony for this marriage or a long-term situation made it seem like you was married, right? You was always the baddest of them all, Empress Energy. Let's get this right here. Yeah. Knowing your worth, you have ch this. This this is gearing towards someone who has progeny with somebody, darling dears, who they had to take a leap of faith away. Why? They was constantly being disappointed in the situation. This person made you feel like less than when you was the whole tableau, darling dears. 
Some they took a while to bleed bleed out your what self confidence, darling dears. Always blame shifting and mean. They always had a big finger to point at you, but they forgot about the three pointing back at them. Seven of Cups. This person or people didn't choose wisely because you have options and they don't. Page of Swords, darling dears. They're watching you and that's the true proof. They're watching you be happy and begin again. Mm -hmm. Some of them may even be watching to the point where they see you go into a divine union. We saw King and Queen of Cups. But we also see what? A vacation. Maybe you're up, somebody's left the situation and they're carrying the progeny in their tummy still. You'll be all right, darling dears. You're the Empress. Once you know your worth and set your boundaries, darling dears, you don't matter who it is, they can't get into the palace. We've got the what? Ten of Pentacles. It was the releasing of generational curses, but it also speaks about some kind of inheritance coming towards you in the form of a job. It could also speak about a family inheritance, inher inheriting your true soul tribe because you know who you are now. You know what you truly deserve. And it's not less than, darling dear. You deserve anything you can dare conceive. You can achieve, darling dears. You've got the badass alchemist ways. Mm -hmm. How are you being seen by others? How are you currently being seen by others? They see your worth now, darling dear. They definitely do. They see that you've definitely moved on from the situation, Knight of Cups. These others, they, them and um, would love to come through with a bull swanky apology, Knight of Cups. But listen, you've already dropped that burden, darling dears. You love your hairline. Yes, yes, yes. You didn't want to be pitchy patchy and have no reverse fryer tuck. You got your tinky winky on. Mm -hmm. You didn't hesitate because the Most High sent you the green light to move. What's the best next step for the big cat to take? Mm -hmm. Don't pick up other people's issues, darling dears. Don't take on anyone else's burdens. Yeah? Not especially the Knight of Cups. Disingenuous, darling dears. It'll be lies, subterfuge, and bull swanky. Your strength, darling dear. Don't get involved in people's what? Drama. Don't get involved in other people's drama. Be drama free. Know your worth and add tax, darling dears. The best next step, right, is to leave people behind. There's a lot of dull yellow surrounding you at this moment in time. This is a lot of jealous energy of past people because you are single and independent. Nine of Pentacles, knowing your worth and adding tax. You also, what changed your mind about the situation? This also speaks about opportunities coming your way, helping hands, darling dears. A new beginning for you. You had to change your mind. If you didn't change, you'd be still be stuck in a situation that was below your spiritual pay grade. Essentially, you did what? You came off the field, big cat, and went into the barn. Mm -hmm. Any obstacles in this new beginning, this new life? You've dropped the burdens. Your, your back is turned to anyone wanting to apologize to you from the past. You don't care. You've already accepted the apology, right? Whether they gave it to you or not. And any apology they give to you now, darling dears, it's a hoodwinking one. They didn't expect you to leave and never come back. They never expected you to understand that you, you have high ideals, that you are a child of the Most High. You've got direction, darling dears, and you've got the badass alchemist ways. Look at your life, big cat. Look how many things you was able to achieve until you met this person or people or this family member. You allowed them to get into your head to make you think you weren't, you was less than. Less than them. No human being is more than another. You're all the same. Why? Because we all bleed the same blood, darling dears. We all piss, shit, and eat. We all do the same. But this person or people wanted you to feel less than. They didn't want you to know your true power from within. Mm -hmm. Base of the deck. Now they're in their mind about you, darling dear. Imprisonment. Five of Wands. Somebody also is was sent someone to prison for some kind of a physical attack. It also speaks about defamation of character. You're about to put an end to that situation. This is court proceedings, darling dears. What about the obstacles? Queen of Swords, darling dears. Use your high intellect. Use the wisdom of your previous experiences because this is a new beginning, the hand of God. It's a new, op lots of opportunities coming towards you after this heartbreaking situation. This betrayal that you had to overcome. But divine illuminated the situation to make you realize that it was never going to change. You had to be the change. Queen of Swords is someone who is highly intelligent. Using your intellect, you get spiritual downloads, darling dears. 
Yeah, you'll hear some people out, darling, dear, but it doesn't mean that you will invite them back in. You, when you speak to these people from the past again, if they are lucky enough to get an audience with you, darling, dears, it will sound like Charlie Brown's parents. Wah, 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 Yeah. Because you know it's lies. Four of Pentacles, you've got this. The cards are telling you that. You've got this. Queen of Swords is about you being fair, darling dears, but you have to be fair to yourself. The Queen of Swords could represent somebody who's divorced from a situation. It could also represent somebody who's childless, darling dears. Maybe your child, your children have flown the coop already. Whatever the circumstances for you, darling dear, this, the point of the fact is, don't let nobody take the peace, the peace with your what? Intelligence, darling dear. And if they crossed you once before, they will cross you out again, darling dear. You've already freed your mind. There's no obstacles in your path that can trip you up. You are being protected by your ancestral team. This is rich white lady season for you, darling dear. Five of cups. M many people are crying. They are. They're in regret and that's not remorse. You had to realize that two of cups behind you and turn around. You did a 180, darling dears. A full-on 180. They didn't expect it of you. They expected you to be emotionally tied and running down them for what? The keys to your own life? I think not, Scotty. I think not. Had to put my back into it, darling dears. Let's get some more messages. What does Divine want you to know as you continue? Or you continue on this second fool's journey. And I don't mean it. I'm not trying to belittle you, darling dears. This is the fool with the what? 2020. This is the fool that's being gifted new contracts, darling dears. Why? Because you've listened to the Most High. And you didn't hesitate. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a good shufti. More messages from the divine. It's my big cat, my bestie, realizes that realizes that the moves that they made or about to make was the right one. You are being pushed by divine. You was dedicated to your own personal situation for far too long. As I'm saying this, Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Wands, fickle energy, and they're a page. They they acted like a knight, not even a king or an emperor, a knight, right? Look, and this keeps falling over. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, darling dears. This person is extremely bitter. They're watching you, they're curious, right? They can't understand how comes you keep getting good luck. You didn't come out here to harm no one, darling dears. They did. They're watching everything you do, darling dears. This wind, and they feel as though a window of opportunity is closing for them. Yeah, this person who lives in the past, someone from yesteryear, they love you a long time. Hey. <laughs> yeah, you gave them unconditional love in a situation based on the deck, but you got this. This person was too controlling, darling dears. This is why you had to queen assault them. This is why they're crying into their fist, as you have been gifted with the badass alchemist ways, manifestation mode. And again, it speaks about travel. The magician always comes on a number one. And again, divine is reminding you to continue to put yourself first. Knight of Wands also speaks about something coming towards you quickly with the Wheel of Fortune at its back. At its back, it speaks about what fate, destiny, and good luck. The Wheel of Fortune could also speak about um, um, a foreign person, somebody from distant lands, whoever's coming towards you, darling, is with this new beginning that you have what co-created. Why? Because it's part of your destiny and because you listened when the Most High told you what, what to do. Base of the deck. Let them cry into their fist. Mm -hmm. Someone from a distant land, or you'll be traveling to distant lands, darling, dears. It's all a part of your, the the um the growth leaving karmic cycles karmic relationships behind five of ones this goes to six of ones they're gonna watch you darling dears be blessed in their face this goes to what the tower moment ending of circumstances and situations plus the sudden change that's coming towards you some of you have been going through a season of depression darling dear that's all about to change three of pentacles and again it speaks about seeking counseling or um people that you tr can trust with your information because remember when you tell people your business darling there's 80 percent don't care 19 percent are glad it's happening to you and that one percent 
Oh, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not, um, it's not a mystery. This 1% really is out there, darling dears. But you have to raise your vibration, cleanse away what no longer serves you, realize that any weapon formed against you shall not prosper. Be dedicated to it. And as I said, many of you will be jettisoning into your, into your spiritual bath on Friday, Venus Friday. Why Friday? Why Venus Friday? Because it's about, it's about self-love, self-worth, self-care. It's about abundance. Mm hmm Uranus is the higher octave of Venus, darling dears. This is again the planetary energies. The divine wants you to what? Raise your vibration. This is your time. Many of you are going to be getting your yoga on, you're meditating, but the devil is also not welcome. It also speaks about somebody needing help to get over some form of addictive behavior. Go and get the help, darling dears. Clarify this wheel of fortune. The cards are all back and forward and forward and back. Wheel of fortune. Yeah, an 11-11 fade. This is a party, some kind of celebration. It could be a, a wed invitation to a wedding, some kind of a wedding, an engagement party. But it's about mutual minds working together. For others, you're going to be partying in the next few days. Yeah. For every time you cry those bitter tears of betrayal, darling dears, you're about to be gifted with something new. Remember I told you that? Look what's going up. You've washed your face like David from these narcissists, do They were narcs. Sociopaths, right? They all had personality disorders. This is why you had to learn to be strong for you. Don't allow that past energy to drag you back to what you've already graduated from. And let them study. They will never graduate from that university either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Page of Wands. This is a message coming towards you, darling dears. So we've got the page of cups. Good golly and gosh. Lean in, big cat. Lean in. Disagreements, darling dears. Somebody, somebody was not happy with you. They created a lot of emotional turmoil in your situation. That's why you had to end it, Gemini energy. Lovers, you left a partnership, a friendship. And this person wants to message you because they're going through it, darling dears. They're getting it without the Vaseline. That's their business, blood. Mmm, mmm. Nine of Cups, you can, they're watching you get your emotional fulfillment solo dolo like the boys or girls on the pole. This is also the universe saying, whatever you like. <gasps> whatever you like. This is wish fulfillment, darling dears. The same ones that tried to keep you down as a thumber made you feel less than when you was more than a conqueror, darling dears, sent into their existence to uplift and show them what unconditional love was support real support a listening ear that was not attached to running feet but yet they did what they did so they did what they did and so you you moved out of the way after you was what directed to by the most high mm -hmm. a lot's gone on big cap take the time to what write down your achievements Look how far you've come. The strength card is telling you love of your own company, darling dears. Remember, your temple, you, is the only thing that you have to take everywhere with you. Wrong environments will affect your health. It will mental and physical, darling dears. With dis-ease. No. You was right to take that leap of faith when you got the green light from the Most High to move just like that. Come through ludicrous, posh, clap. Mm -hmm. Split the deck. Time for you to what? Rest and recuperate because you're about to receive another spiritual download, darling dears. Possibly while you're doing your yoga practices or meditating, but you had some kind of a message. What was the message pertaining to? What was the message that they had? What was it pertaining to? Mm. Chariot energy on his face, cancer energy, healing, darling dears. A situation or circumstance that you didn't have wisdom in. Maybe you asked your ancestors for some kind of help in a situation. You've received it or you're going to receive it, darling dears, in your meditations while you're sleeping. But you're going to get a clear, definite answer to unstuck yourself. Mm. Mm. 
wasn't easy for you to leave that situation, darling, dear, but it is what it is, yeah? They did what they did, and you moved out the way. Ace of Cups, love of self, darling, dear. This goes to what? Nine of Cups, and again, you're about to be gifted something, but Divine is telling you to continue to stand your ground. You was never on their level, darling, dear. You, they was meant to reach you on your pedestal. They tried to bring you down. They did. King of Pentacles. But you can't, you, listen, no man can curse or bring down what God blesses, darling dears. But you have to pay attention to the signs and the signals. When divine tells you to move, you do it just like that. And as we begin the read, we shall end it on the justice card, darling dears. You are their karma. Let them watch you for a hair. As you go into right partnerships after all of that betrayal. Get one final deck, get some more messages, then we're out of here. Gonna use my FP555 Oracle Intel deck. I've got two decks and I've mixed them together because, as I've told you many times, who go and check me, boo? Mm -hmm. Final messages. Yeah, you are their karma, darling, dears. I can't make it up. A five and a three is an eight. Eight is the number of money, but it's also the number of infinite. Infinite possibilities, darling. There's an infinity. You've mastered something. The numerology of the eight, right, is ruled by um, Saturn. Something that you took you a while to master this, darling, dears. It did. 27. Continue to move in silence. Mm -hmm. Two and seven is a highly spiritual number. Why? Because it's it's the throuple of the nine, darling dears. And nine in numerology is, is the highest number. It's when things come to fruition, attainment. So if you're going through some kind of addiction or addictive behaviors, trust and believe. You're going to be putting that shiz naive down. Leave the high command of Decepticons where they are. Four and one is a five, higher of energy. God's got you, darling dears. God has you. Right? Look. Whoever that high command is Decepticon is, they've got addictions, darling dears. They're addicted to the SEX, lying, and having that disease that they can't cure. What's that being fucked up, darling dear? They're fucked up. Mm -hmm. And they've got the jealousy, envy, and hate. You are being watched by a page of swords, darling dears. I told you this already. They're doing the research. They're doing their what? Hillbilly investigation. This Sputnik, right? Subdiffusion bull swanky, darling dears. Mm -hmm. They was looking for subterfuge and bull swanky, but they're not going to find that around you. They're going to find you being blessed, able to walk alone, which many, which is something some many people can't do. You know how to stand up for yourself, darling dears. And if you're going through something, they would never know. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to confront you, darling dears, because you're confident. But you are being spiritually protected at this moment in time. As I said, you are their karma. What's this? As your big cat chronicles continues. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my teesprings. Todd love to my patron. I'll simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Big Cat Way Until we meet again On these tower streets Cat Cat